Hi beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. Well you've seen me with this makeup definitely in two other videos but I'm here today to review some Scott Bonds products and these products have been out for a while but if you want truth and honesty and really talk about if it's going to work and be that good on mature textured skin then please keep on watching. You know, if you you know that I love all kind of makeup, drugstore, high end, everything that actually is good. And I've been liking the Scott Barnes blush palette. It's dirty. I've been using it a lot. Really love this palette. It's beautiful. I love all of the colors. I'm being into all of these colors. Um, not so much in this highlighting color because uh, it's a little bit too dark for me. But I love these. Uh, products they are pigmented they are easy to work they're beautiful but i've been really interested to buy the sculpture palette the swan sculpture and contouring palette that i've seen um tati use on her channel and him using on tati so i got this and this is how it looks i don't know what this background is this kind of brown color i know when the, it launched it was white so I don't know if they changed it. I mean, it's still the Sculpture and Contouring number one uh, and the shade names are the same, but I just don't, I don't get it. If you know, let me know down below. But this is how it looks, kind of scary, but I'm very intrigued to try it. And I also, of course, got and bought the Scott Barnes bronzer. Yeah, I touched it, look, it's flake. But I didn't swatch it because it looks so good. It was so stunning. I didn't want to swatch it uh, before I filmed because I know this gold sun is going to disappear, but I did look finger fingerprints everywhere. This is how the lo it looks. Look at it. Before we go in and swatch this thing and use it, I want to show you the real thing. This is just a top uh, filter on so this will des definitely disappear the gold but I just wanted to show you before we go in and destroy it because this is the first and last time we are going to see it this beautiful uh, but it's huge this is really huge look how big that this one is I have to say that you get a lot of product for the money uh, you get the 37.5 grams but the packaging feels a little bit cheap um, but the product is good, so uh, let's go in and try these products. My eyes, I do have some Jeffree Star's products. I already have that video. Um, so, I don't know, I do want to go into this hashtag shade, this red kind of color that he actually used for contouring the jawline. I don't know what brush to use, so we are going to use different products. I'm going to use this kind of brush because I want it to be soft. And he used this to kind of make the jawline more snatched and uh, I'm kind of curious I haven't I mean I watched the Tati video when he tried this palette on Tati and it was a long time ago and I wanted to rewatch it just to um, you know remind myself but then I thought why should I remind myself I need to figure out to make this work for my skin and I feel like it would be much better if this background was white so I can actually see the shades but I don't know if they changed for a reason so we are going to use this hashtag um, color I'm kind of scared it looks scary because it's a little bit more red but I mean the jawline was snatched and it definitely got snatched here. Okay, so honestly, it looks good. It really looks good. And uh, I can blend it more with my bronzer later down there. So on my neck, so it doesn't look uneven. But I'm, um, I'm kind of liking this. I didn't thought that I would like it, but I'm liking it. Let's go in and use this kind of brush to contour and I um, I don't know what shade I'm going to use I don't want to go in with diced this color here to contour okay so it's pigmented I just 
tapped it once. Okay, it's very pigmented. I was into contouring more and using contour colors before I go in with my bronzes like years ago, but it's been years since I actually did that again. So we are going to go in and use this kind of brush. This is from BH Cosmetics number four and blend this without any more product. So definitely cutting the cheeks. Uh, it's very pigmented. So I, um, I'm liking it. I'm just not used to see myself using um, this kind of product because it's been a while. But so far, so good. I'm really liking how everything is looking so far. Uh, let's go into the bronzer. Let's go into the bronzer and see how the bronzer is looking. So we are going to swatch it. And it's just this gold. So I'm going to go and um, use this pop just to remove this because I don't want this gold. Uh, I know people maybe will think I'm crazy because I don't know why, but I'm going to go in with this Morphe and Jaclyn Hill bronzing, um, what's called brush. I've been liking it, but I watched, washed it not so long ago. So let's go with that. And this is definitely pigmented. It's picking a lot of product. Oh, I'm so nervous. I love bronzers. Okay, so we'll try slightly to use this all over the face. So not putting all of this product at one place. Oh, wow. You know what? I'm loving this bronzer. Ooh. Not, it's not shimmery, but it gives me that like satin finish. Um, and it's going so beautifully on with the um, contour. Uh, I don't know if this color, contour colors, is so good for me. Maybe I should use another one uh, because it's a little bit too cold, but it works really nice with this bronzer. Oh, I'm loving that. I'm really, really loving that. I'm loving the bronzer. I'm, I'm loving the bronzer more than I thought I would. And from the blush, we are going to in and use the Luxe 504 brush. And we are going to go in with Scott Barnes. And I do want to show you guys uh, and mix the man mango face and the rose because I do like this. So I know how to show you guys. Okay. So I go in with that and that back and forward. Press here to blend them and in onto the skin. Don't be scared of using this or orangey color mango face. It's beautiful. Look how stunning that looks. Just gives that special color. I don't know how to pronounce, but if you blend these, you're going to get very so many colors when you blend these you can get a lot of different shades of uh, blush but these are beautiful i'm going to go in with my finger and go in this color here use it as a highlighter because i love this shade and just go again with this brush can you see that i love this i love love these products now the contour palette i do need to work with it a little bit more and uh, see um which one i like more i feel like maybe i could use this chiseled as my contour this was a little bit too cool maybe for me right now but i i like this i mean it's 
it's definitely going to need, need some time for me to figure out all of the shades and how to use them. But I wanted something like this because I want to go in back and use more products on my skin and go back and use contour and bronzer because I know some people are in that as less, less makeup it's better but I'm full coverage girl and I love using makeup I love plenty of products so that's me guys that's me this is the Scott Barnes products and I'm obsessed the bronzer is definitely going to be my in my daily here and also the Scott I already know I love the blush palette. I don't know, have the highlight palette yet, but probably will get it one day when it's going to be on sale. I'm glad I got this palette and I'm definitely going to figure out more how to use these colors, but I mean, it's beautiful. I can use it for the bronzer too. So if I travel, I will definitely bring this one to me with me because then you have everything in here. And I'm loving the blush palette, like I said, but I'm obsessed with the bronzer. And when I remove this gold color now, because I don't like shimmery highlighters, it just gave me that sun looked kissed look and i'm obsessed i'm really obsessed okay guys let me know down below if you tried any of scott born product so i'm going to go and finish my makeup and i'll be right back okay guys so this is a my, my uh, finished makeup look and i'm obsessed how um, bronzer and the contour and blush looks it kind of married together looks really really natural on my skin I'm loving it. I love how this red shade ex actually snatched my chin and uh, I'm not used to do that or I did usually use other colors for that. When I was a little bit younger I used a lot of contour products but I need to go back to that. But I will see and use it under the foundation too like he does but the bronzer is mm, just chef's kiss. I love it. Love the bronzer just obsessed and I love the blush palette you already know I've talked about it a lot of, a lot on my channel the sculptor co contouring need to try it a little bit more but the first impression is good it's very pigmented but blendable and uh, let me know down below if you tried any of Scott Bond's products what do you think about them is there any product uh, you want me to try or let me know don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video Thank you guys so much for watching and see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.